Hi, Dr. Lou here at the Chippewa Chiropractic Clinic. Patients come to my office with acute injuries, sports injuries, automobile accidents that injure their neck. And another most common way is tech neck, you know, sitting at computers all day long, doing repetitive things like reading, crocheting, and knitting. It puts a lot of stress on the upper back. So I'm gonna run through these stretches in order so you can see them, and you can see they don't take long to do. A couple of things to remember. Number one, I'm gonna hold the stretches for five seconds for demonstration purposes. Five to 10 seconds is optimal. And number two, if a stretch seems to make you feel worse, don't do it anymore until you talk to me. And finally, the key is to stretch often. You don't have to do them all at once, but if you do them periodically throughout the day, they make a big, big difference, okay? So here we go. For the neck, you wanna stand or sit in good posture. You don't wanna do these slouched or, or crooked because you wanna build good posture back into your world. So the neck stretches. You let the head drop forward. And you do this until you feel a nice pull, but no sharp or, or, or wincing pain, good pain, what I call it. And you hang there for five seconds. Then you can go backwards, same thing. You're gonna go up till you feel a good stretch here, five to 10 seconds. Now, if you're older or you get a little lightheaded, don't go so far back to where you get lightheaded. And maybe you want to be by a wall in case you would get lightheaded, you can hold on. Be careful of that. The only one you have to watch for is this one, especially older people. You can get a little lightheaded. Okay? And then you go left and right. So I'm going to take my head to the right as far as I go. Now, if I go past that, I can feel kind of a little pain back here. So I'm not going to push it. I'm going to take it to the edge, hold for five seconds, and then I'll go to the left. Take it to a nice pool, hold for five seconds. Look straight ahead. Now I'm gonna take my ear to my shoulder. I'm stretching this side of my neck now. So I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. You keep your nose straight ahead, just drop the ear to the shoulder, five to 10 second hold. Drop the ear to the other shoulder, and you can probably see I'm restricted on this side. I can feel more pulling there. And if you just kind of let it hang and don't force it, you'll feel the muscle stretch and it'll just go a little farther on its own, a little farther on its own. That's how you stretch effectively. Okay? So I had up and down, left and right, side to side. Now I call it the diagonal. I'm going to take my head to a 45 degree turn from straight to all the way left, 45 degrees. And then I'm going to try to look down at, my, at the floor. And the stretch is going to go down this way now. It's a little different muscle we're stretching there. Five second hold. Bring your head up 45 degrees down. And I could really feel again my left side needs stretched. Five to 10 second hold. That's the diagonals. Go through those three times as I just suggested. Now, another really good stretch is shoulder rolls. Again, I'm standing in good posture and I'm not getting my whole body into this. I'm just rolling my shoulders. This one you don't hold. This one you roll slowly back, do five to 10 sessions backwards and then forward. And many of you are gonna see like it's kind of weird at first because you're not used to doing this. You have to make your muscles do it. But you're making circles, five to 10 forward, five to 10 backwards, okay? Now I'm gonna do some side stretching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and just let this hand kind of go down. My right hand goes down, my left hand goes up. I'm letting my whole upper body tilt so I can feel a whole nice stretch all through here. Again, five to 10 second hold, and I'm gonna go the other way. I'm going fast for demonstration purposes, five to 10 second hold. And then finally, I'm gonna show you a good one for your shoulders, and I'll turn around. If you can do it, just take your hands and hold them together. If you can't reach your hands back there, kind of leave them somewhere comfortably here. Again, I'm standing with good posture and I'm just kind of almost reaching for the floor with my hands. I'm going to do it together. And basically what I'm stretching is this. Okay. So again, what you do is you push down five to 10 seconds, repeat three times. That's the entire upper body series. I'm going to show you one also after this called the doorway stretch. We have to move over to a door and do that. And that ends this particular series. This next stretch I call the doorway stretch. It's important because of this. At a young age now, our posture is beginning to degrade. 
because we're doing so much of this texting pads laptops we're putting ourselves into this flexed position and over time this stretch helps what happens when the pec muscles get shortened and they pull the shoulders forward rounding the shoulders when that starts to happen gravity will continue to work on you and over time you'll begin to develop very poor posture so we want to have a way of stretching this out so after we deliver chiropractic adjustments to open up the spine, you can start to move back into better posture. So the doorway stretch, you find a doorway. Now we're going to stand back about a foot or so from the doorway, depending on how tall you are. For me, it's about a foot. And then let's start with the hands about shoulder height. And it looks like a push up, but you're not pushing back. You're going to actually just allow yourself to fall into the door until you feel a really nice stretch coming across the pec muscles. And then you have to just kind of hang there for about 10 to 15 seconds and just relax. Don't let your belly sag in, keep your belly firm so that it doesn't hurt your low back. And don't poke your head forward like this either so that you're not doing something like this. You wanna have good posture and a nice straight back, hang for 10 to 15 seconds relax and repeat three times as you get more flexible you can actually raise the arms up a little higher and now you'll get an even more aggressive stretch but if it hurts your shoulders dial back to the point where you can do it without shoulder pain you should notice it's stretching right through here